As presented in a previous presentation, offline raids are the most dangerous threats in survival, and while preventing offline raids and its effects remain the best way to deal with it, in this presentation, you will be presented with the most effective and efficient way of dealing with offline raids if your ship does get found and raided. This presentation will be accompanied with a video demonstration along the usual graphical representation. This presentation will be split into three parts. 1. How ratings are usually done, and how raiders can easily overcome turrets, no matter how many you have, and will almost certainly always end in total loss of the ship. 2. How the anti-theft method works and video demonstration of the anti-theft method. 3. Extra layer of protection in cost of extra PCU. Part 1. How ratings are usually done and how raiders can easily overcome turrets, no matter how many you have, and will almost certainly always end in total loss of the ship. To understand how the anti-theft method that will be presented to you is going to be effective against raiders, first you must understand how ship ratings are usually done. First, the raider found your ship. They will either try to get close, or put down a GPS marker, go back to their ship and park it nearby. After that, they will try to go maneuver around your turrets closer to your ship and find a blind spot to start grinding into your ship. If they failed, they can always respawn and keep trying to maneuver around to get into your ship, or just maneuver around until your turrets run out of ammo. Even if they forgot to put down a GPS marker the first time they found your ship, they can always go back to their body location marker. So no matter what, if a slightly knowledgeable raider found your ship, it will almost certainly result in a total loss of the ship, if turrets is your only method of protection against raiders once your ship has been found. Part 2, How the Anti-Theft Method Works and Video Demonstration of the Anti-Theft Method Now that you know how a raider raids your ship, you will see how this anti-theft method will make it exponentially harder for a raider to raid your ship, if not straight out impossible. First, you need a sensor and two timer blocks, this will cost you 75 PCU. The sensor will be set at maximum detection range to detect enemy players, and it will trigger a timer block on the first entry trigger, and the second timer block on the second exit trigger. The first timer block will do four things in one second after activation, activate gyroscope override, increase gyroscope roll override, increase forward thrust override, and start itself to loop itself and increase the roll and thrust overrides even further. The second timer block will be set to activate in one hour and do three things, stop the first timer, disable gyroscope override, and turn off the forward thruster. This will achieve two things that will make it harder, if not impossible, for the raider to raid your ship, if the raider overcome your turrets and landed on a blind spot, the sensor and timer will make the ship start going forward and rolling, getting or throwing the raider out of the turret's blind spot and moving away from him, now, it's already much more harder for the raider to not get shot by the turrets, and it's also harder for the raider to approach the ship again and retry if he died because the ship is now moving forward, and since the ship is now speeding away, if the raider died enough times, the ship would already move far enough and be out of sight from them, even if they somehow still able to overcome the turrets with the ship rolling and speeding away, then land on their feet on a blind spot, it will be very hard to stay there because the centrifugal force from the rotation will slide if not throw them away, it is also very likely for the raider to die from getting hit by something during the rotation. And then after one hour, the second timer will start and stops the ship from rotating and speeding away, reducing the possibility of it hitting an asteroid or running out of energy. Please note, if your ship has a gravity generator, the first timer should be set to turn off the gravity generator as well, to make it much harder for the raider to stay on your ship if they do manage to land, and you can also set it so the timers activate and deactivate a group block of thrusters instead of a single thruster making the initial acceleration faster. The second timer can be set to trigger after more than one hour too if you wish, and if your ship is big enough, you can put multiple sensors to accommodate for the extra size. There's a very small chance that the ship will hit an asteroid during the course of the anti-theft system being activated, but remember, if your ship has been found by a raider, 
total loss is almost a certainty anyway, and the risk of the ship hitting an asteroid is relatively small and even preferable compared to the almost complete certainty of losing your ship to a raider. Finally, remember to turn off your sensor when you're not going to log off, and when you do want to log off and turn it on, park your ship while it's not pointing at a planet, moon, or nearby asteroid. Part 3, Extra Layer of Protection in Cost of Extra PCU This last part is courtesy of my friend Rick's suggestion, put a hidden survival kit in your ship, make it hidden through the control panel, then rename it something else to trick your raider. This will allow you to respawn on your ship if the raider didn't destroy your ship or find a hidden survival kit. Stay vigilant but don't let fear defeat your courage, it is a warship's destiny to go down in the glorious flames of battle. Godspeed. <laughs>